right? In mental health, we talk about peers. We talk about peer support. We talk about incorporating peer work into mental health treatment. There it is. Right? There it is. There's my peer. I don't know how supportive that is. Uh-oh. Get better friends, Max. <laughs> but the message in, is clear, right? He's talking to me about something related to back then, right? We have mutual context. And he's providing me with some pure reflection and reality testing. What better way to check in with yourself, right, than blocking? So, this is that next turn that I talked about. All right, we're gonna take on a little bigger picture than just my mental health stuff <coughs> right now. All right? So, during my blog's infancy, I wanted to talk about how to do all these things. Right? Now imagine me, you're me. Just one more minute. <laughs> All right? Imagine you're me. You had what you experienced happen to you. Then you become a practitioner and you realize how to translate it into clinical jargon. And then you're like, wait a minute. I want to talk about this with one of my friends at work. I want to talk about this with the world and talk about how we can change the world and show other people how to do the same thing that were just as sick, just as chronic, just as disordered as I was. That's how Mental Health Affairs was really created. My blog wanted to do all of that. I wanted to talk to people in medicine. I wanted to talk to people in psychology. I wanted to talk to people in every allied field with mental health and where it intersects, right? Where mental health intersects with all of these aspects of life and say, hey, look, this is what you can do. This is what I did, but this is what works because not only am I a practitioner who's learned about it, but I've applied it and now you can apply it too. So, So, the role of blogging in social media, right? We talked a lot about the beginning, what you want to put out there and what you don't want to put out there. I'm in a room for like, I don't know, like 20, 30 of us. Social media brings us to the world, right? Or at least the world that accesses digital media. And we put our stuff out there, okay? How we disseminate our work and how our work evolves, right? Through like those likes that I talked about, through engaging with other people, through backlinks, all these things. All of these things are impacted by blogging. How we reconceptualize and rethink our understanding of ourselves is not just self-reflection. It is an aspect that is incorporated into the fundamental world of blogging and how blogging intersects with not only traditional, but digital media. So as bloggers, right, we can track our stats, right? We can look at what countries are looking at our content. We can look at who's looking at it. We can go back and revise and edit. When I was sending out those emails 10 years ago, I didn't know who the was looking at them. It didn't say if they were read, it didn't say if they were liked. All I knew was the people that didn't like it. There were a lot of them. <laughs> but I can tell you one thing, I wasn't sending people messages to people at that time in other countries. I was just an English major in upstate New York. These days my blog is impacting a larger world. I can look at and see which countries are reading my work who's replying, what they're saying, what they're thinking, and seeing if that if it's true that what I'm saying here is that they can take what I'm saying and apply it to their lives. Their lives all over the world, not just in upstate New York, or London, or East London, or wherever we are. 
So, we can edit. We can do a lot of things with blogging. Blogging, like I said, isn't just about what we're saying and what we're putting out there. We need to scrutinize. We need to have ethics, right? We need ethics, don't we? In our practice as practitioners, we need to take that to the blogging world. We need to go back to what we're looking at and see if it's still current. We need to see if it's still still applicable, if it's, if it's valid, right? We talked about validity before, right? Some things are getting retracted, right? Redacted. All those things where, where you say, that's not right. That's what we need to do every single day. I go back and I edit my blog every day, not just the recent posts, but I go back and I edit from years ago. I go back and edit my very first, like, uh-oh, my still, so no, I'm still a social worker, but I go back and I look at other things. Wait, wait a minute, Max, that's not right. That's just a pseudo-intellectual statement. You could do better than that. And I can, I, do, I did better. I go back and I revise all the time. And that's what we need to do. Just like we revise our lives, just like we revise our mental health in status, we can go back and revise what we're saying in our blogs. We need to. We need to be as current as we can, as accurate as we can, in everything that we do, right? Now tell me, when you're out there living your life, do you not say to yourself, wait a minute, 